I got a challenge from a viewer recently. It says, do you think you could do a capsule wardrobe without any neutrals? I love color and basically want to look like a walking rainbow every day, which is hard to do in a small wardrobe. Oh really? Challenge accepted. In this video, I'm going to further prove to you that a capsule wardrobe does not need to be only neutrals. In fact, you can choose to include no neutrals at all. And I am also going to share with you some tips of how you can add color into your capsule wardrobe if you too are bored with all the bland, minimalist capsules out there. And if you too love a good capsule wardrobe, give this video a huge thumbs up and hit that red subscribe button to join a community of fellow capsule wardrobe lovers. There are many approaches to building a capsule wardrobe, and the truth is that I use a lot of them because I consider them different tools for different jobs. The truth is that the same tool is not going to be the right approach for everyone. For this particular very colorful capsule wardrobe, I needed a point of entry, so I came up with two. Since this capsule is all about color, the first one, which will come as no surprise, is color season. Because when you are picking a certain set of colors, it is easier to mix and match them if they all match in temperature and chroma. Because our perception of color is always relative depending on what else it is around in. So for example, if you're working with a very bright color, that color has the potential to make other more blended colors appear old, or faded. Therefore, your clothing can appear old and faded even if it's entirely brand new. So if you're going overall for a harmonious, more elegant look, it is easiest to stick with colors that match in temperature and saturation. This is not a hard and fast rule. I don't believe in rules in fashion, but it certainly does help. So for this capsule, in order to give you the most colorful impression possible, I am going to assume this person is a spring, which means that all of the colors in this capsule are going to be warm and saturated. My second point of entry was a garment, because I was thinking, what is the quickest way to get the appearance of rainbow in a person's outfit? a very colorful garment. So I went hunting for a piece that would become the anchor piece in the entire capsule. I got lucky and I found this skirt on the Farfetch website, which was the perfect anchor piece for this capsule. And from there, I used the concept of modules, which I have a whole video about, I will link it right here in the cards, to build the capsule until I got to 15 pieces. So let me show you what I came up with. Since my anchor piece was a bottom, I first needed to find two tops that would go with it. And the approach here was very simple. Pick two colors present in the skirt and find tops in different styles that would go with it. So the first option was a yellow t-shirt and the second one was a blue blouse. And to complete this module and make sure that I could get four outfits with these four pieces alone, I needed to find a bottom that would work with the two tops. So I found this pair of bright blue pants. To complete this module, I needed to look for another top option, ideally in a completely different color than the ones that I already had, that went with both of my bottoms. So I found this pink one, which is a surplus sleeveless top, which is great because while it's still a sleeveless top, same as the blue one, the style is completely different. And to elevate this module, I decided to include a layer at this point. So I specifically was looking for a layer that would work with all of these pieces so that I could get 12 outfits from these six pieces alone. So I found this blue blazer. It's not the exact same shade as the blue pants, but it is close enough and it matches in temperature and saturation that it would look very good together. And it could also be worn with the skirt and any of the top options. Once this module was completed, then it was only a matter of continuing to find pieces that would work with this capsule and expanding until we got to the final capsule wardrobe formula. So starting with the tops, I first found this grass green blouse, which the color is just absolutely delightful. And as you can see, it works both well with the pants and the skirt. And another reason why this is a good piece to include in this particular capsule is because the style is drastically different than the pieces we already have. So this is good. Variety is always important in the minimalist wardrobe. Next, I needed to add another bottom. So I started looking for another colorful option that would be completely different to the two bottoms already in the capsule. And I found this delightful pair of purple shorts. Like, I just love these. I love the style and I love the color. And because it matches in temperature and in saturation to all of the tops, it would go well with any of them as an outfit. And I am going to show you some outfits in a minute, so stay tuned for that. If you're familiar with the capsule wardrobe formula, you know it goes five, four, three, two, one, which meant we needed one additional top option. And similar to the skirt, which became the anchor piece for this capsule, I wanted to find a top that she would wear it and it would scream rainbow right away. So I wanted it to have different colors in there. I found this one, which has three different spring colors in it, but it also has a pattern. So it is a great top to have to add interest to your outfit like that. 
Now, personally, I think that wearing this top with the rainbow skirt would be a little too much, but the capsule is already versatile enough that even if you don't pair those two pieces together, you still have plenty of outfits with what you already have. And to complete our bottoms, I was looking for another pair of pants in a different cut to the one that we already had. And I, I was actually looking for a more aqua color and I couldn't find anything like that. So this is the closest one that I have. It's more of a teal color, but it will still work with all of the tops that we have and it will make for a very interesting outfit. Moving on to the layers, we needed two additional pieces that would complete her outfit in different ways. So I wanted these to be drastically different. Since we already had the blue blazer, I wanted another jacket that would be a little bit more casual, but that would still complete the outfit in a different style. I have had my eye on this Kettlewell jacket for ever, literally in a different color for myself, and I could not resist including it in this capsule, and plus the color is delightful. And finally, I wanted another softer layer, something that wouldn't be an outer layer per se, but that would still make her warm and cozy. And you know, I love a good cardigan, cardigans that can be worn open or closed because I find them very versatile. So I decided to go for this pink one. And this color was specifically chosen because it could be worn as a sweater set with the pink top or with any of the other colors, just as a layer, it would be a very colorful outfit, but that's what we're going for in the end. But if she wanted something a little bit more muted and if she wanted something that was a little bit more streamlined the sweater set would work well moving on to shoes which is usually one of my favorite parts of putting together a capsule wardrobe now we have the whole collection of pieces of clothing that we were going to include so i looked at it as a whole and determined what are the most prevalent colors present in this capsule? Because I was going to look for shoes that matched or echoed those two colors. So for me, it was blue and pink. So I decided to find two pairs of shoes in those colors. So first I looked for a sandal and I found this pink sandal, which I found absolutely delightful. And next I found this open toe blue mule and the color is very close in color to the blazer, which I thought was great because she could go for a monochromatic look if she ever wanted that. And I just like found it so fun. And finally, to complete this capsule, we needed a special item. One thing that I was keeping in mind while building this capsule is that I wanted her to be able to build several monochromatic looks in case she ever didn't want to look like a rainbow every day. I wanted to give her an accessory that would add a pop of color contrasting that monochromatic look without having to add a layer or another item that would become a color block in her outfit. I also wanted something with pattern because right now we only have two pieces in the capsule that had pattern and I really felt like I needed a little bit more interest. So I found this scarf in spring colors with a little bit of a pattern, which I found to be absolutely delightful. So if her outfit is ever feeling, yes, very colorful, but it needs a little bit something extra, she can always pop on that scarf and the pattern in the scarf would add a lot of interest to her outfit and bring the attention near her face which is at the end of the day, what we always want. So this is a completed capsule. It is very colorful. And I know a lot of people are going to resist that because not a lot of people are comfortable wearing color. But remember that I built this with a specific person in mind who does want to look like a walking rainbow every day. So it's important that your wardrobe reflects you and what you really want. And the truth is that even though the overall collection is very colorful, the outfits that you're gonna wear with this capsule are going to be much more manageable than you can imagine because you're not wearing all of the colors at once. First, I wanted to show you four different outfits with our skirt, which was our anchor piece, because I wanted to show you that you could go in completely different directions. Yes, that skirt is a statement piece, so it is going to be the focal point of the outfit, but it works with any of the tops. So no matter what you pair it with, you have a completely different color story, and the color of the top will highlight the different colors of the skirt. That's how you can mix and match. And here, as a matter of contrast, I picked the most bright top that we had in this entire capsule and pair that with all of the different bottoms so that you can see how versatile it is. This is going to grab a lot of attention because it is a statement color, but it still works with all of the pieces very well. I feel like these outfits are really something that I would see in editorial on like a magazine spread or something like that because those stylists are not afraid of color at all. And finally, I just put together a few more outfits for you to get an idea of how this capsule would work and just how many outfits you can put together from those 15 pieces. Remember, there's not a single neutral and this still works really well, but here's proof. You do not need a single neutral. 
This capsule, as you know, only includes one accessory, but if you are somebody who wants to give the overall appearance of rainbow with your outfits, accessories are a great way to do that because you can add very easy pops of color, different colors at that, and start to bring interest to your outfit in a bunch of different colors so that you don't have to look for pieces that have a bunch of different colors in themselves. So even if you're wearing just like a green top and blue pants, add a pink shoe, add a pink headband, add a pink bracelet, and that alone, adding different color in different places, will give a very colorful look overall. I hope you like this capsule and that this gave you some ideas of how you can include color into your wardrobe. And I wanna know in the comments below, how many colors are you comfortable wearing at once? Because this is something that I find a lot of people resist. If you like this colorful capsule wardrobe, please go ahead and give this video a huge thumbs up. It helps my channel out a lot. And if you love color and would love to add color to your wardrobe, but you're not sure which colors look best on you, I was with you so much so that I had a color analysis done a few months ago and I made a video about that. So be sure to check it out next because it was very helpful. And I'll see you over there. Oh, Buttercup's coming to visit. You want to come visit? Say hi, team. Uh-oh. Lip print on the dog.